I have done a really good job with avoiding showing my face on here, but I had to bite the bullet eventually. This is going to be my first and last studio tour of the studio that's in my childhood house. Um, I am moving in a couple of months and that means I have to start all over from scratch. So, so I wanted the world to see my hard work before I had to leave it all behind. I will not waste your time with a long intro, so let's get into it. So I have sliding doors on both sides of the studio and um, when you first walk in there's the couch and my wonderful National Park series featuring my diploma that I do not really use. And then I have shelving units for my drying original work and commissions and then I have the rest of the walls covered in artwork from my friends. So the first table is a really old card table from when I moved here and I have my Cricut on top of it and then underneath I have my wonderful printer that I love very much. And this is my print packaging station over here. I keep cellophane, printer paper, and loose prints in here. And then once I get to the bottom big shelves, I have my mailers and I also have my letters for sticker orders. And then on the bottom, I have my freebie stickers. And then I also have my printer paper for both 8x10 and 5x7. And then I also keep my business cards and my thank you cards down here, along with my ceiling stickers, which are entirely 100% recycled. So under my desk, tucked into the wall, I keep my artboards, and then I also have my paper cutter just in case I get a miscut on my Cricut or something. Quick shout out to my friend Brie who sent me this amazing Avatar themed water bottle. I use it every day. So I got two of these things at Michael's Clearance for like 20 bucks. I have not yet decided how I'm going to organize with them, but they were just too irresistible to pass up. The rest of the shelf over here is kind of a mess. I keep my more administrative stuff here as well as my Dymo label printer, and then that is just filled with whatever I want. My lovely Meaden easel is my prized possession, and on here I keep most of my um, most frequently used brushes. And then on the clipboard next to it, I keep receipts that I haven't uploaded yet. This glass table my parents gave to me when I was like 16, and in here I store my stamping for my mailers as well as some fabric paint and calligraphy brushes. The little cart that I got from Ikea here stores all of my paint and my most frequently used paint mediums. So those of you who have been following me for a long time know that I love my Liquitex as well as my rare golden paints. And then on the second shelf, I keep my paint mediums as well as my fabric paints and um, some of my smaller gouache sets and tubes. And then on the bottom shelf, I mostly store um, my oils in a bag because they have exploded once and I will not risk that again. And I also keep my varnishing slash gesso brush down here. This is my wall that I've filled with all of your sweet comments and letters that I've gotten from you guys. And as we move to the right side of my studio, I have all of my storage. And this bookshelf is where I keep all of the supplies that I don't fit on the IKEA cart. I have a lot, I know. Um, but on the top shelf, I keep my palettes and my Arteza stuff. Oops. The second shelf is full of my mediums and all of my little additives and varnishes that I have. And then on the right side, I keep all of my pens and markers and colored pencils, everything you could think of. And even my little Pokemon cards, which I have been neglecting lately and want to get back into. The third level of the bookshelf has all of my paper. Every journal, every sketchbook that you could possibly think of is on this shelf. I even have these little pendants that I have also been neglecting and haven't done in many years. And then all the way to the right, I store my little Cricut mats because I cannot think of a better place to put them. The bottom shelves have the stuff that I use a lot less, um, like my iPad keyboard and my um, mailing scale, as well as my hairdryer when I get impatient. And then on the top little bar there, I keep all of my different cords and stuff that I have. And the final shelf is my sticker shelf. So the ones on the left are where I used to keep them. And then the ones on the right are the drawers that I have now, which I like much better. I got them off of Amazon and 10 out of 10 would recommend. 
So the other place that I store my stickers is on converted shoe organizers, um, which actually works very well. I have them organized with a label maker, which I'm very proud of. So behind the first set of doors, we have most of my shipping supplies, actually all of my shipping supplies. So the top, I keep extra paper. I keep some loose journals. I keep all of my mailers, both rigid and bubble as well as some of my cellophane. And this is also where I keep um, either pre-wrapped journals or um, my wax sealer, which I am obsessed with. I also got this custom made on Amazon and I got it with these cute heart teal pellets and I love it. So this is the second um, piece of shelving that I got on clearance in Michaels and it's a filing cabinet. Not sure what I'm gonna use it for, but once again, couldn't resist it for 20 bucks. And then on top of it, I keep my Cricut um, vinyl. Right now I only use holographic because I'm just getting into vinyl, but um, so far I love it. So on this shelf, I have my labels for my label printer, and then I also keep my ink stored in here. And then on the right, I keep my mailers that I get from Amazon because I like to use as much recycled material as possible. And then here I keep cute decor stuff for packing. So on the shelf below it, I keep my journals for my astrology journals that are launching in a couple of days. And I also keep my extra cellophane here as well as my rigid mailers. Um, and then in the basket, I keep some sketchbooks that I haven't used yet, as well as extra business cards that I thought I could open and couldn't, and my thank you cards that I get from Vistaprint. I am very glad that I switched from Staples because I did not realize how much better the quality would be with these, and I'm very happy with them. And then on the bottom shelf is just miscellaneous. I have canvas panels, I have frames back here. It's kind of the mismatch section. And then this is where I keep all of my recycled mailing supplies. Um, I cannot tell you the last time that I used virgin packing supplies. I try to be really good about it. And then this second little shelving unit over here is a lot more of like the whatever I couldn't fit into the other one storage. So I keep my DSLR up here as well as um, tape that didn't work out. I keep all my tinier canvases in here, all the little stuff that I have to paint on but have not. <laughs> and then uh, this is also where I keep my wooden slices that I have. And then on the bottom shelf I have all of my artsy stuff that isn't painting. So I have my diamond paintings, my embellishments, my embroidery, scraps, things like that. Um, all the stuff I do to stay creative while I'm not painting specifically. And then to the right I store my taller canvases, which is really nice, and then um, on the right I kind of just stuff more boxes and cardboard for mailing because, you know, space is space, right? And that is my studio. Um, I'm really excited to set up in a new location, so. To show you what it actually looks like after one of these videos, I brought everything back in after I took it out for the video, and um, yep, it's back to being a mess. So part of the reason that it's messy again is because of my winter launch, which comes out November 1st. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Um, you can subscribe if you'd like, and I will see you guys all next time.